Hey guys, this is a fun one. We want to find the area of this red region. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, let's call this red region X. I'm going to find X by tackling everything else around it. We have a square right here and another square here. We have this triangle here. We have this region right here. I don't even know what you would call that. And then we have the same type of region right here. And then right here, we have a thing called a segment of a circle. And then up here, we have another segment of a circle. So if we can find the area of all of these blue pieces, then we can add that to X and set it equal to the whole square. So first, let's do these two squares. The sides of these squares are equal to four. And the area of a square is equal to the side length squared. So we'll plug in four for the side length and four squared is equal to 16. So both of these have an area of 16. And now that we've solved these, let's make them orange and let's put them back. And next, let's look at this triangle. Both of these sides are equal to four and the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. We can plug in four for the base and four for the height. Four times four is 16 divided by two is eight. So the area of this triangle is equal to eight. Now let's make it orange and put it back. Next, let's look at these two shapes that I don't know what they're called. To find the area of these regions, we want to complete the squares around them. So the sides of this square is twice as long as that four, so it's going to be eight by eight. And the sides of this square is going to be four times three, which is 12 by 12. So to find the area of this region, we want to do the total square minus this quarter circle. The area of a square is equal to the side length squared, and the area of a quarter circle is one fourth pi r squared. Let's do this top one first. The side length is going to be equal to eight, and the radius of this quarter circle is also equal to eight. This eight squared is equal to 64, and this eight squared is also equal to 64. Let's switch these around, and one fourth times 64 is equal to 16. So the area of this region is equal to 64 minus 16 pi, and let's color that orange since it's done. And now let's find the area of this region. The side length of this square is equal to 12, and the radius of this quarter circle is also equal to 12. 12 squared is equal to 144, and so is this 12 squared. We can swap these two around, and 1 of 144 is equal to 36. So the area of this blue region is equal to 144 minus 36 pi, and let's make that one orange. Now we just have these two segments. In order to find the area of these segments, we're going to complete the quarter circles. This side length is equal to four, it's this side right here. And then this side length is all of this up here, it's equal to eight. This is how we're gonna find the area of the segment. It's the entire quarter circle minus this triangle. And the same thing here, it'll be the whole quarter circle minus this triangle. The area of a quarter circle is equal to one fourth pi r squared. And the area of these triangles is one half base times height. Let's solve this one first. The r of this quarter circle is equal to four, and the base and the height of this triangle are both equal to four. Four squared is equal to 16. We can swap them around, and one fourth of 16 is four. And for this one, four times four is 16, and one half of 16 is eight. So for this segment right here, the area is four pi minus eight, and let's color that orange. And then for this one down here, the radius of the quarter circle is equal to eight, and the base and height of this triangle are both equal to eight. Eight squared is equal to 64. We can change the order, and 1 fourth of 64 is 16. And then eight times eight is equal to 64, and 1 half of 64 is 32. So the area of this region is equal to 16 pi minus 32. And let's color that orange. After we add all of these together, we'll have the area of the big square. And the area of this big square is gonna be 12 by 12, which is equal to 144. So we have this single X, we'll bring that down. And then we can add up all of these integers, and that will give us 208. And then we can add up all of this pi, we'll get negative 32 pi. Now we just want to get this x alone on one side. We can subtract 208 from both sides of the equation, and we can add 32 pi to both sides of the equation. All of this stuff is going to cancel each other out. On the left-hand side, we have x, and that's going to be equal to 32 pi minus 64. And let's bring back our original figure. And the area of this red region is going to be 32 pi minus 64 square units. And let's put a box around it. I told you this was a cool one. Fresh Tallwalker did a video on this seven years ago. He's got a pretty cool shortcut. I have a link in the description. How exciting.